In this video, we're going to be going over how to make monkey bars uh, in Onshape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on my front face, uh, and I'm going to grab my line tool. So we're going to just kind of draw our first vertical line here. Let's go up, let's say six feet, which is 72 inches. Let's kind of zoom this out. Uh, and I'm going to go over eight feet or 96 inches. And I'm just going to go right back down 72 inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of round my top corner. So I'm going to grab my sketch fillet. I'm going to kind of start with my left line and my uh, top line. We'll say a radius of 10 inches. Sure, that looks great. We'll kind of round this corner as well. That looks great. And we'll say finish sketch. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come down here and I'm going to start a sketch on the bottom sketch right here. I'm going to draw a little circle, connect it to my line. We'll say that we want our monkey bars to have a three inch diameter. We'll say, okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to sweep our circle face and we're going to sweep it along this path that we just created. Right there, that looks good. We'll say finish. So now we have like one side of our monkey bar. The awesome thing we can do is we can do a linear pattern. We can select our shape. We can choose the direction. Let's say we want to go to the right. Ooh, we don't want that one. Let's do linear pattern. Let's do the front. That looks good. Uh, we're going to change this distance. We'll say 36 inches apart. So three feet apart. That looks good. So now we have a monkey bar set without any of the bars. Um, so the last step is let's add those bars. So what we're gonna do is let's start a sketch on the front face here. This is going through the middle of the post. That's fantastic. So what we're gonna do is, again, I'm just gonna kind of redraw my lines. As you can see here, I can lock onto the bottom. I can't really lock on anywhere else. So I'm just gonna start at my bottom line. I'll go up, we said 72 inches. Let's go over. 96 inches and we'll just come right back down 72 inches and we'll say okay so I just kind of redrew my lines right here just to kind of get some points that I can lock on to um, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with my line tool over here and I'm going to go over 10 inches that's how far um, our fillet was um, and I'm going to go over one more inch okay and the reason why I'm going to do this is um, I kind of just drew the radius of my circle I'll draw it from there to there. So now I have a two inch circle just touching the inside of my filleted edge. Um, and the cool thing is what I can do now is I can do a linear pattern. I can click on my circle right here, kind of drag my line out. Let's say we want, let's do six, Oop, not 65. Let's do six. Let's see how far that goes. Ooh, we need to go a little bit more. Let's spread those out. We can get it pretty close. Let's zoom in. Actually, you know what that looks? That looks perfect, 14.8. Okay, so we'll say finish that up. So now we have all these uh, bars that will go along the top. Let's actually go back into the sketch three and let's just do a couple more. Let's do the bars at the bottom so you can climb up. I'm gonna grab my line tool again and I'm gonna go, well, let's just go up six inches, sure. I just don't want my bar sitting directly on the ground. Um, so I'm just gonna start it at six inches away from the ground. We'll say six. Same thing, let's just grab our circle tool. We can just type two inches. We can type two inches. And we're gonna do the same exact thing we just did. We're gonna use our linear pattern tool. I'm gonna click on my circle, click on my circle. I'm doing both of these at the same time. So we'll say we only want one going that way. We want, let's say three going this way and let's make these a foot apart. Perfect. And we'll say green check mark. So now you can see I have one, two, three, one, two, three uh, for the little ladder going up. And then I have six bars going across. So what we'll do is we'll just do extrude. And I'm just gonna kind of highlight this. Those three are selected. I'll go over here, select those. Oops, I missed that. Yep, I got that right there. And then we'll do these final three right here. So let's extrude those 36 inches. That looks perfect. It should be going halfway through our other one. We'll say, okay. 
And you'll see again that we've created a bunch of different uh, parts and they're starting to become all different colors. So what we can do is we can actually go into our appearance panel. We can just do a add a face and we're just gonna highlight all of this right here. And whatever color we wanna make it, say we wanna make it blue, now we have a blue monkey bar set, okay? So this is how you would create monkey bars within Onshape.